Revenue Authority Department for Domestic Tax actually has set its eyes on the value added tax VAT as one of the avenues it will use to generate more taxes this year. According to George Obel, the Deputy Commissioner for Medium Taxpayers Office, VAT as a contribution to the GDP is a mere 4%, which he says is below the region's average. Jimmy Bogo was there and now joins us with more. Good afternoon, Jimmy. Well, indeed, a very good afternoon to you, too, Noah. Yesterday, we were talking about matters revenue collection in the country. Now, you will remember that yesterday we did a story about the budget deficit and going forward, uh, the 2023-24 budget, we we're talking about um, a deficit of about $720 billion. But you will remember from yesterday's conversation uh, the fact that our debt ceiling is capped at 10, billion, uh, 10 trillion shillings. And on, uh, at the moment, we only have a gap of about 800, uh, 587 billion shillings that we can be able to borrow. Now, the alternative uh, in bridge, uh, bridging this gap is making sure that we collect enough revenues domestically. And today we have a conversation around uh, the contribution that we can get through VAT uh, into the GDP. At the moment, VAT contributes about 4% of, uh, of, of the country's GDP. Now, how do we increase this uh, to the levels of countries such as Rwanda, which, whose VAT contributes about 7% of the country's GDP? Now, to help me with this conversation, I'm joined by George Obel, who's the Deputy Commissioner for tax um, uh, for Medium Tax Office at KRA. George, thank you so much for speaking to KTN. Now, we're talking about a revenue deficit. Uh, when you look at our uh, revenue contributions, uh, at the amount of money that VAT particularly contributes to our economy, we're talking about 4%. Uh, this is quite low. Now, how do we make sure that we increase this uh, to the target that you've to, uh, spoken about? And maybe help us understand from where you sit at KRA, what is your target for this year? Very well, thank you. Thank you for having me and thank you for this opportunity. Let me start by saying that uh, uh, you're right, the contribution to GDP for VAT is 4%. And yes, you said like our neighboring country, they contribute 7% to GDP on VAT. So we see an opportunity there. And uh, we see an opportunity to be able to increase the revenue uh, contribution without having to, uh, without having to uh, increase the VAT rates. We can be able to do that just by bringing efficiency in the system. And this is the reason why we've come up with a system, uh, a digital system, a web-based solution system that can be able to take us there. The web-based solution that we have is, uh, we call it eTIMS, Electronic Tax Invoice Management System. This Electronic Management Tax Invoice System is a system that is going to be able to, to, to link up with the taxpayer's uh, invoice and uh, receipts uh, activities. This means, therefore, that uh, when you cut an invoice, when you issue a receipt, that invoice there will be an image of that invoice with the revenue authority. There's an extra 40,000 who are, who are yet to come into the system. In terms of monetary value, how much money could, that, could their joining and being part of this system help the country raise? Okay. The 57,000, the, the bulk of them are the large taxpayers and the medium taxpayers. Those have come on board and their transactions are huge. So rightly, we could, just given a, a guess, we should be able to have about 60-70% in there. This other 47% could be a smaller percentage. But once they have come on board, we should then be able to see the impact of what we are looking at. Because you see, uh, there will be that requirement that you cannot trade with someone uh, who has not been registered. So the person has got to be registered for you to be able to trade with them. So that brings out uh, businesses that are not registered. So we, we tend to see ourselves covering the tax gap that I mentioned. Our tax back for VAT, the three percentage point, we should be able to see it over a period of time covering that. And that will be annual numbers. It means that every year we should be able to see our revenue growing quickly. When you go into the year, what is your current tax target in terms, uh, in terms of revenue collection and how do you intend to, uh, to raise that? Current now has got a target of 2.274 billion. That is the target that is there in the printed estimates. Of course, obviously, uh, we, 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 our target is to try and meet that target and surpass because then we have got the responsibility of not only meeting that target but meeting and surpassing that target. So, and that's why we are coming up with all these measures that can be able to help us to not only meet that target but meet and surpass. Because, you know, as a country, we need more and more of our ordinary resources that are coming from ourselves to be able to 
drive our uh, development agenda. And this is an opportunity for us to be able to do that. Yeah. Now, lastly, before I let you go, there's the question of, you was, uh, during your presentation, one of the things that you spoke about is the fact that customers and consumers need now to, going forward, they need to be asking for their invoices. Now, one of the ways that tax cheats have, uh, have been able to beat the system is making sure that if you don't ask for, for your invoice, we'll give you a discount. Uh, if, for example, somebody asks that you do not get a, a, a receipt, but then you get a 10% discount, what that person has done is that he's giving you a 10% of VAT, and because VAT is 16%, he's kept the 6 So you see now, that's the problem. You're actually you're arbitraging on tax which is one problem. And generally, as they are citizens, we should be able to check on each other. That's the first point. We should not be able to check on each other and make sure that uh, all of us support our country to be able to collect. But however, even given that, we as KRA are thinking of many other ways of incentivizing our, uh, our, 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 our taxpayers to be able to insist on getting the receipts. And one of the things that we're thinking about already that uh, have got to pass through uh, approvals is uh, using lottery. Yeah. A root, lottery would be a very good thing. What, what does it mean? Is that if you get that receipt, then that receipt gives you an opportunity that you can be able to win something. Yeah. That is an incentive. You can be able to get something. That's an incentive. And other countries have done it very well. And uh, Kenya should not be left behind. We can be able to come up with that. If you go into a lottery and you've got a chance to win, some, to win something. And there will be prizes to be won. That would be another opportunity. Also other countries have come up with something which is very interesting. They say for the 16% VAT that you've paid, eh, you can be given some percentage back. You see, if you can, if you have insisted to get the receipt, you are bringing efficiency in the system. So all those will be put together, analyzed, and then the country will be able to agree which is the best way forward they want to, the country would want to move. And of course, obviously, there will be public participation and engagement so that you can be able to have something that we believe can take us forward. Oh, I thank you so much, uh, Bernard George Obel. No, I, now, I don't know about you, but of course, that, that is something that I would want to try. I mean, if there's a lottery to be won and there's something to be won as an incentive for asking for those receipts, I think going forward, I will be asking for my receipts. Of course, we'll be giving you more details in our subsequent bulletins, but for now, back to you now. All right, thank you very much, Jimmy. Receipts in, uh, in, in different contexts, it has different meanings in different contexts, but uh, definitely receipts are important, all right? Now moving on swiftly, the global economy has been on a recovering trend.